Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, please consider clicking subscribe and the little bell notification icon down there so you'll be notified when I publish new content. If you're a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, tonight what we're going to talk about is, well, we've kind of talked about it before. We did a little bit of a, re a review on it, but this is the Grand Stream WP820 Wi-Fi cordless phone. We, we did do a review. Now, if you watch one of my other videos, you know that the big brother to this is coming out, the 850, which is a basically an Android-based smartphone, and then the Linux-based WP810 is coming out. Now, one of the things that I suggested with this, and I was kind of the outlier on this, is that I would like to see on the charging cradles, I would like to see PoE. And we're going to try PoE on this. Now, it just has the uh, micro USB on the back. Let me show you this. So you can see it just has So the really important part of that was on the bottom, and I showed you that, that the input needs to be 5 volts, 1 amp, right? So both the phone and the cradle both have that, that USB port. Now, I think that anything new 2019 should also be USB-C, but that is uh, besides the point. Now, uh, I mean, these these mini USBs, they're, they're everywhere. They're very you know, prolific. So it's not a big deal to find one. It's just anything new. Um, I, and I'm not singling out Grandstream. I'm talking to every manufacturer and it could be a, a price, you know, manufacturing thing. So, but I would like to see USB-C, but what we're going to do is we are going to take this PoE adapter. Now, this is a UC-Tronics PoE splitter. So what this does is you plug an ethernet cable into this side and it will split it out into five volts up to, let's see, it'll do five volts and up to 2.4 amps out. So in theory, we're going to be able to plug this into the cradle and we are going to be able to charge our Grandstream phone over PoE. So this is a splitter. Like I said, you, you can run power out this side and then Ethernet out this side. And I'll show you a close-up of this. You definitely cannot do um, PoE over this jack. It has to come out of the, the mini USB uh, or micro USB, whatever you want to... Uh, which one is that? Is it mini or micro? See, there's too many USB variants. So I think that's mini. Maybe it's micro. Micro USB, and I've been saying many. Whatever it is, it's not USB-C. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to plug a PoE into this side or a cable that goes to a PoE switch into this side, and then we are going to try to um, charge our phone in the dock. Let me show you why I know we can't do power over this. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to get uh, a PoE switch. We're going to get a PoE switch turned on. Um, and then we're going to plug this in, so stay tuned. Okay, so we are back. And what we have here is we have a generic PoE switch. It is literally generic, like... Um, I don't know that the brand name doesn't have a brand name on it. It is a literally an unmanaged, just generic five port PoE. The important part is that it is uh, 802.3AF. So this splitter should be able 
to do it. And then, of course, we have the WP820 in the cradle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Ethernet cable. We're going to go from the splitter to the PoE port, and we are getting a, a flashing light there. We're getting a light over here, which means we are um, passing PoE. Now, if we get lucky, I'm going to remove this from the dock. We're going to plug this into the dock. Now, if we get lucky, this is going to work. This may be a fail. So you may be watching a fail video, and you just don't know it. So I've got it plugged into the dock. Now, when I plug this in, we should get confirmation of charging. And there we go. So now our WP820 is indeed charging using PoE. So I got my wish. Grandstream didn't have to change the WP820. It was able to use this PoE splitter to do all that heavy lifting. So now I can put my WP820 wherever I have Ethernet. I don't necessarily have to have a power plug. So if uh, I don't want to plug this into the power, I just get one of these splitters. And I am going to run this long term. If there are any problems, I will follow up with another video. But that uh, sound, along with knowing um, on here that we've got, you know, the right, right amount of output, shouldn't be an issue. And there you can, you, I don't know if you could hear that, but uh, we did get that confirmation. Again, here, let's try that again. So we got the charging confirmation. So let me know what you think about this. All right, so that's it for this video. Put your comments, put your thoughts down below. I want to know what you think about this setup. Is it viable? Is it something long-term that is going to work? I, I want to hear from you. Would you do it this way? I want to know. Me, I want everything to be PoE, and I want everything to be, uh, if it's not PoE, I want it to be USB-C. Uh, as far as devices that I'm plugging in my network, I do consider this, since it's part of my phone system, to be part of my network. And this adapter is going to give me that. And then you could hear it again. Is going to give me that. So I am going to charge it like this for a few days and see. But I'll put a link... I'll put a link to the WP820 because if you're wanting to do uh, Wi-Fi voice over IP, that is the way to do it. Pair it with the Grandstream access points and you're going to have an awesome, awesome voice over IP on Wi-Fi experience. But I'll also put a link to this PoE, PoE splitter uh, down below. So if you want to try it out or if you want to power other things like Raspberry Pis, uh, anything that will take this 5 volts, 1 amp to 2 amps, should be able to charge it uh, using using this or power it using this. So let me know what you think about this. So if you like the video, also please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, head over to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form. Someone will contact you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks. That link is down below, and all of our affiliate links, including this gear, is down below. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a couple bucks over the channel to keep things rolling in. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.